Hey guys, this is going to be a tutorial video on how to change the straps uh, for a jet ski Shorelander trailer. Um, it's going to be somewhat specific to this. I believe they're all pretty similar, but um, I'm going to show you how to change the strap because these are getting kind of nasty. I just picked up this trailer not too long ago, and uh, if you're wondering why this is backwards, I had to transfer it from another one, so that's why that's like that. But anyway, we're going to take this apart i'm gonna show you how this comes apart and how to change the strap we got two new straps here um i got these at cabela's i saw you can get some on amazon and uh other things but these were i want to say 12 feet yeah so these are 12 feet which i think is about close to these i think this just barely stretches to the end and i didn't want to get too long and have it pile up on here and get caught up or something i don't know if it would but just to be safe i got the 12 foot ones and the shortest ones i could find were 12 foot and they were at cabela's so if you need to get them get them there they had two different rated capacity probably more like one for boats and one for like jet skis and stuff obviously smaller watercraft but anyway so these are the new ones we're gonna put these on i'm gonna show you how to do it so I'm just going to explain how this comes apart real quick before I do it. This bolt has to come out. There's a nut on the other side here. I already soaked it in PB Blaster, but um, you have to take that off. This whole assembly comes out, and then there's a bolt in the middle. This thing was pretty rusty. There's a bolt that goes through the side here, and that's what holds the strap there's a loop on the end of the strap so the bolt goes through nut on the other side and that's what the strap goes through so it doesn't slip off and then that's how your assembly's put together it so i'm gonna go ahead and take that apart so this is a half inch on mine um if you have the same trailer it's probably the same if not um you just have to figure it out so come off pretty easy I'm also gonna hit these with a wire brush and hit them with like POR 15 or some type of rust preventative paint just because I think it'll the action on these will move a lot better and it'll just be a lot nicer but anyway oh I didn't do it on this one but make sure you release the tension first it would not be good to do this one wasn't on here tight but it wouldn't be good to do you had it pulled up with the nose on here okay so now this kind of gets stuck in there because it's got these little things that pop through the hole so you kind of got to just wriggle it back and forth until you get it out just like that Take this over here you'll see as we and roll this. There's a bolt on the side here, not on this side, and it looks too close. I don't have two of the same size wrench. Oh, and this is in the middle too, so don't lose that. It looks too close, but if you kind of hammer it with a screw screwdriver or a chisel or something, this will slide down and you'll be able to fit a socket on one end. So I'll show you that next. All right, so what I did is I kind of just jammed it in between here and just tap it in like that and kind of pry it a little bit and the more you tap it in the more it'll separate too there we go so we got the one end up high enough to fit a socket on there this is uh an 11 mil on mine The other strap was pretty stuck on there, so might have to kind of 
try and slide it down. Strap is off, bolt is out, now we have these. So I'm gonna clean these up, like I said, and paint them with something, just rust preventative, because these go in the water all the time. So this is just gonna keep happening and trying to keep it, keep it nice, so. Okay, we're over at the bench now. I'm gonna start wire wheeling these and kind of prepping them for paint, so cut to a time lapse but that's what we're gonna work on okay the pieces are all sanded and prepped so I'm gonna go ahead and spray these here's a couple of the bolts and then there's the we can focus the wheels so I'm gonna start spraying here. Okay, so we're gonna put this back together now. Alrighty. Put our spacer piece on here with a little bit of uh, a little bit of oil just to help it rotate easier. And go ahead and stick that in there. Go put that through there. Get this not started. Works good. Now we're going to go ahead and attach the new straps to these with the bolt that goes through here. We got a strap here. Just want to unroll it. Get to the looped end here. I'm going to stick it through this skinnier hole just because these are a little bit too big. So to get the best grip, I'm going to stick it through here. I don't know if there's a better side or not, but I'm going to stick it this way. You can see we got these painted new straps on there so we're going to go ahead and put them on now so to do that we need to put this sleeve back in the middle of here so not, i don't think that'll fit through it yeah so that doesn't fit through after so make sure you put that in first um i gotta slip the strap okay, sorry the camera cut out i ran out of space but we got this lined up in the right spot kind of had to wedge it in there but the strap is going underneath how it's supposed to yeah. I just gotta there we go
Ahí. There we go. New straps. Good to go.